It's Oktoberfest week at the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, and today they're cooking up a German favorite that includes short ribs and cabbage. To Oktoberfest, we usually think of big steins of German beer. Music. That'll have you singing and swaying, and of course, lots of good food. As for the music and the beer, I'm sure you've got that covered. But when it comes to the food, we've got a hearty all-in-one beefed up dinner that'll knock your lederhosen and socks off. We start by browning a good amount of beef short ribs in a little vegetable oil. We do this in batches so we don't overcrowd the pan. While those finish up, we add a can of crushed tomatoes to a slow cooker, along with some tomato paste, lemon juice, brown sugar, caraway seeds, and a bit of salt. After mixing this, we put the short ribs on top and add some chopped cabbage. Now all we do is cover it, set it to low, and let it cook all day till the meat is fall off the bone tender. Oh my gosh. I bet you've never tasted ribs as meaty and moist as these. And when you ladle the sweet and tangy sauce over them, along with all that cooked cabbage, get ready to start singing and swaying. To get the recipe for our slow cooked short ribs and cabbage, simply visit our website. I'm Howard of the Mr. Food Test Kitchen with Kelly, whose beer is almost as big as she is where today we found a fill you up way for you to say, Ach, der schmeckt. In other words, ooh, it's so good. And we have a link to today's recipe at our website, valleynewslive.com. Just click on the Mr. Food button, or you can write us at the station, 1350 21st Avenue South, Fargo, North Dakota, 58103. Well, coming up tonight on Valley News Live, it's called The Hero Bill, how Habitat for Humanity is working to turn the Jason Mosier tragedy into hope for a family in need. But next year at noon, Lisa's back in with the last check of our forecast. This afternoon, temperatures already rising into the 60s in some areas. A few places a little cooler. That's where we're right under the clouds and maybe getting a couple of raindrops too. That disturbance moving through the valley rather 
quickly here now this afternoon. We're already seeing some sunshine up north and that will continue uh, to progress to the south and east through the rest of the day. So places up north may end up being nice and warm here or warmer than others, I should say, into the afternoon hours. Temperatures today, 60s for just about everybody and clearing skies, wind out of the north and kind of chilly tonight. We're looking at maybe some 30s for a few of us. Fall is here though. It we is. have to keep reminding ourselves of that, that it is almost October <laughs> after all. Have a great rest of your Thursday, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow morning starting at 4.30 a.m. on the Valley Today.